Midwan was born in Malaysia and he started playing computer games when he was just 7 years old. He started playing Dota after getting fascinated with it when he saw his brother playing the game. His first opponents were his brother and cousins against whom he would play 1 vs 1 matches almost every day. Despite losing most of the time, his aim was to improve and beat the pros like Mushi and KYXY. He played his first tournament at the age of 13 and finished as the runner-up. Thereafter, he began to compete regularly at small tournaments. But Midwan had very traditional parents who wanted to stop him from playing Dota and focus on school instead. On the contrary, his friends would ask him to stop studying and play Dota instead. However, despite his efforts, his professional career wasn't quite going as planned. He suffered successive losses, tournament after tournament, but that didn't stop him from giving it one last try in the 2015 Mountain Dew Dota 2 Challenge. His team, DOT, proceeded to stomp the rest of the competition, post which Midwan received and accepted an offer from none other than Fnatic. 29th April 2016, Midwan became the first 8000 MMR player on the SEA servers. His initial days with Fnatic saw mixed results. Although Fnatic had become the top dogs of the SEA region, they had very limited success at international tournaments. G -G is called... What the hell was this series? It was a bit of a weird one, this one. Alliance oh, do finally be able to take it. You thought but... he would have been learned his lesson from the first time he didn't have buyback where they... That was until TI6. Great, Fnatic. Good position, hiding. And the tree line was used to first reveal what gets dropped down the spot. The move on the shed. Get a jump on the shed. Get a jump on the shed. Flicks back to the shed. Now, my job is join up with it. Oh, my God. 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 Midwan had suddenly become one of the most coveted mid lane players in the world and eventually he was picked up by Team Secret. Team Secret plus Midwan have yet to make their mark on the international circuit. They failed to qualify for the Boston Major and they crashed out of the Kiev Major finishing last. Failure didn't seem to deter his motivation though and soon after Team Secret performed spectacularly at the TI7 European qualifiers dropping just one game and finishing in first place. Midwan's grind didn't end there though, as soon he became one of the first players in the world to reach 10,000 NMR. Team Secret are now battling it out at TI7 among the world's best 32 teams and players. Will Midwan's efforts find him success in his quest for international glory? And will Team Secret walk away with the Aegis 